absolutely beautiful. And I love the purple tinges on those flowers. That's as far as I'm going. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunday shave, to the weekend shave. And hope you're in good health, hope you're having good shaves, and I hope um, you've had a good week since I've seen you last on Wednesday. Um, as I said in that video, uh, I'm going to have a relaxing, basic, simple shave. I love them. Um, it's all well and good being lucky enough to use good quality products, uh, high end, high prices, expensive. But it's not all about that. Um, well, for me, uh, a shave is a shave. And um, you'll see I'm using um, the least expensive products really uh, in this shave. And it won't be any different, hopefully. <laughs> Wilkinson Sword Classic Double Edged Razor. Two piece razor, all plastic except the insert of the handle you can see is metal, gives a good weight. Not heavy, good balance, no overhang, very safe, and just twist. There is a plastic thread there and a plastic um, thread in there really, so you have to be careful with this not to cross thread it. Um, and I'm using a Persona Red, which has been used once. So, turn it upside down and carefully. That's enough, and that's lovely, ready to go. Um, good old fashioned <laughs> shaving scuttle with pre lathered Arco. Now, in this, and this is the vintage uh, Ever Ready 150 with a horsehair knot, which um, Grey Dog made me. Fair play to him. If you can see in the back, I can show you, in the bottom there's uh, a block of Arco soap which I pressed in well actually I shaved in then pressed it uh, I've got a, a cheese grater small cheese grater and I shaved it into the bowl and then kept pressing it down it's really soft then to do because uh, if you try and do it with a whole block you can end up breaking the bowl sometimes so shaves shave it in and then press it and it goes into the contour of the bowl and sits there for every time I use it and I leave it there and it dries nicely air dry it and as you can see I did bloom it with a little bit of hot water just covering the, the soap then I flicked out this has been soaking for 10 minutes flicked it out and this is what I come up with if you can see I don't know how good that's showing up on camera but uh, believe me it's nice um, Right, let's get on. I just the pre the water I used very little. I added to the water I was soaking the brush in, and that's what I'll wet my face with because I've well I've been out the shower for twenty minutes now. So how's Sunday going so far? We well, just started really. Well, dependent when you're watching it. So rinse the razor. And here we go. Oh, that's what I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I just felt it then. Hot water from the tap. So this is beautifully warm. Not that it's cold out, but it's a treat. Sunday treat. Look at that. This is the classic lather. And this is a, uh, you could second as Father Christmas here, or Uncle Albert. During the war. <laughs> oh, and I apologise to my uh, continental friends, my, uh, across the pond. I don't know if you've heard of Only Fools and Horses. It used to be a comedy, one of the greatest, really. Um, David Jason and uh, Del Boy, um, Rodney, who was he? Lind uh, Nicholas Lindhurst and uh, Albert was played by, forgot his name now, Buster Merrifield. He was a bank manager before he was an actor. Anyway, on with the shave, Paul. Here we go. Non adjustable, very mild, 
Um, so yeah, I do, when I do mild, it has to be sort of, missed the top there, has to be short strokes. That's beautiful. Here we go. So that's the angle for me. Very, very mild, but as I'll show you in a minute, very mild. Not the most aggressive blade, it's been used once, but hopefully you can see that's gone straight through. And very light touch. So if things are done in order, they work well really. Very, very basic scent, soap scent. I like it, I, you know, I don't mind it at all. Even the dogs agree again. I'm sure these dogs and cats speak to each other and say, he's filming in cat and dog language while they sort of telepathically send message, messages to each other good audio feedback And that is a beautiful first pass. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's, oh, you can't beat it. Going back to the back to basics. Really enjoy it. Right, pass number two across the growth. So here we go. Back to the scuttle. I'll right, pick a bit more out of it. You can see. And this horse hair. It's a good brush, it's, you know, as usually I'd use something like that blue Omega which has got a good backbone. This is okay. I'm just going to go to the water now under the tap. And watch the explosion happen. Oh, and it's warm. I forget, <laughs> keep forgetting it's a nice treat that. This will be nice when we get into winter. Maybe a winter's cold morning. Would you argue with that? <laughs> right across the growth. We had some um, funny weather. We've had the sort of heavy showers of that fine rain, you know, when it's really fine and it's belting and it soaks you, doesn't matter what you're wearing. And we've also had some lovely sunshine. And this is within the same few hours. Then the wind picks up and starts blowing, which blows more clouds in for more rain. And then that goes again and we get more sunshine, more wind. So, in effect, whatever the weatherman or woman tells us, they're going to be correct. <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh, it's been pleasant, very pleasant. Um, it's been my best year with my tomatoes this year. Um, only small, but beautiful taste. Oh. And only um, yesterday, or was it Friday? Friday, I took some off to give to my mother. And um, 
there wasn't any red ones left. And uh, I went away Sunday, and there's loads on it again. So they they're writing in in good order. Not too many. I can eat them, give some away, and um, very nice. So my best year yet. Grown them in the conservatory. If anybody's interested, and the varieties were Red Alert and uh, Tumbling Tom. Very nice. Nothing on the chilies yet. There's plenty of flowers, but no fruit emerging yet. But uh, we'll see how they go. Right. On now to the third and final pass, except for the pickups, uh, which is against the growth. So, against the growth. Beautiful. And it's warm. <laughs> Actually. Uh, right, so we've picked up soap. I'm going to go back to the water. Because this loves, it blooms, watch this. <coughs> Mind you, what helps with this being such a good lather is, you know, there is a whole puck there sitting. So the brush is constantly, plenty of soap, water. So it's, you know, really... That's a way to do it. No need to be um, using it sort of very gingerly and carefully. Use it to the max. Enjoy it. You can always get more. If it was rare or a hundred pound a puck, you know, fair enough. Then. <laughs> right. Doing very well. Basic. Mild shave, as I say, Wilkinson sort classic, in case you've just joined us or tuned in. And welcome to everybody. Um, against the growth, so off we go. Look at that lather. Nice and gentle. Treat your skin like paper, and uh, when you see blood, it means you've torn it slightly. But I do like, as weird as this sounds, to see sometimes a bit of blood because it means I've got the closest shave I'll ever have. <laughs> you know, with common sense, I don't mean artery gushing cuts with the hopefully you can tell how light I'm holding this and that uh, persona red second time use before we're now standingly nice outstandingly nice Really good job, because normally I like a, a sharp, like a feather in a razor like this, just to give it a bit of a kick, give it a bit of an edge, but... Um, as you can see, and hopefully here, it's doing a pretty good job. Got a way to start a Sunday. Which leads me on to what is for Sunday dinner. Well, I shall tell you. Roast pork shoulder joint with skin on so I can make crackling um, or the skin crisp. I'm not sure what you call it, where you live maybe. Crackling we call it. Um, Lovely. That'll be roasted, yeah, as I say. With the, I'll, I think I'll have to score the skin. It's not cut, which means l cut lines into it, and then I bring the meat out an hour out of the fridge an hour before cooking, so it's room temperature. That's very important. Listen to me, like I'm. <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> it is important. And then I put oil, olive oil, just on the skin after I've cut it, scored it. And then I put some good quality sea salt in, cover it, then roast it on a high heat for 20 minutes. Bring it down, roast the joint, and then the last 10 to 15 minutes back on a high heat, and then that skin will be so crisp and beautiful and the meat will be cooked nicely inside and moist um, he says as if he knows what he's doing I've done it before but um, yeah I enjoy cooking and normal potatoes boiled with carrots and mushy peas today the peas are soaked for two hours in salt water hot salt water and then you simmer them on the in a pan for about 20 minutes and then they're mushy um, there are some peas you have to soak overnight but uh, these are the, called quick soak peas so 20 minutes uh, two hours soaking and 20 minutes to cook and all it is is like normal peas but they go all mushy together and they are beautiful <laughs> cider carling um, dark fruits cider beautiful I love it this is a cookery shave this um, <laughs> that's the third pass I'm forgetting myself and we're going now on to the pickups before I take you down to the kitchen and show you how I'm going to cook next sorry about that <laughs> pick up time I should call this the the shaving chef <laughs> uh, Paul H cooks as a new channel right off we go pick up time and I haven't forgot don't worry Boiled potatoes, carrots, mushy peas, pork, crackling, lashings of gravy. And lashings of dark fruits carling. Beautiful. Diane, as I say in Wales. I am very good. See that very, very gently, so gentle, but it's still cutting, if you can understand me. So, skin taut, that's how I do it, like that. Bring you pull some funny faces, I tell you when you shave. Because I know, because I just watch myself back when I edit. I make myself cringe. <laughs> right. Slickness. Test on the... Oh, it's good, good soap, good slickness, especially when you've applied two previous lathers. Each one leaving a very, very thin layer of slickness and protection to help the razor slide and glide without jeopardising the shave and the cut. See? Clever, isn't it? I'm not really. That's what you want, silence. That's not silence.
Beautiful. Right, rinse off. Absolutely beautiful. How are you doing now, guys? Excuse me, we have a chat every now and again. I love them flowers. Purple, lovely colour. Calming, relaxing colour purple. Or is it just me? It's just me. Right. Are we going to Allen block or Thayer's? Um, no, Thayer's unscented. Oil that hinge. <laughs> right. See how we get on. There he is. Not bad. Hmm. Like I said, it won't make you good looking, but it'll make you feel damn good. <laughs> right. A classic shave deserves a classic aftershave and it's going to be not the original but it's Old Spice original oh come on hey eh? where's my father you can smell him on this <laughs> eh? oh you gotta when you use this, don't use it often because then you get this, oh it just goes whoosh, memory lane every time. God, blimey, that's beautiful, eh? What do you think? Smell that. Good. Right. And what am I doing with the horse there? And there's no, um, there we go. So, Old Spice. There was no feedback either, no sting, which is strange, but it was a mild shave. Um, just have a look before I put cream on. Oh, I wish you could smell this, beautiful. Right, and then to put the protection back, and this should be a good combination, Nivea Originals. This Nivea seems to mix well with a lot of aftershaves I use. So, a bit too much on there, right? Yeah, see? <laughs> like the old Nivea. But if you were doing a true classic shave, you wouldn't have used Thayer's and you wouldn't have used cream. Moisture cream. Because all you would have done is, there'd have been no pre-shave. It would have been in the bath, in the shower, or wash in the sink, lather up, shave, and maybe two passes with the growth, one or one with, one against my father. A few cuts, no messing, rinse with water, towel dry, aftershave, scream for about five minutes, and then head off down the alehouse. With your darts in the top pocket here, and 20 wood bands in the pocket here. <laughs> God, he had a good life. Good life, my mother was good too. Right, off we go. Maybe we should reenact that actually. Have a shave, and then off we all go down the alehouse. Down to the pub, in other words. Down the alehouse. Cut the jibber jabber. Right, what have we used? Wilkinson Sword Classic Double Edged Razor. All plastic except for the insert of the handle and the blade, of course. Uh, well balanced, nice weight, very safe. No overhang, very mild, um, but as you could see, I used a used blade. It wasn't the sharpest blade of all, of all of them, and yet it did this superb job. Very light shave, no pressing, no nothing. Um, and that's the thing I'll say. I've noticed a couple of new people have subscribed and watched the videos. Thank you so much, and welcome to the channel. 
if you could take any advice when you're coming over from cartridge cartridge razors one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make all of us made when we started is when you come out even a razor like this mild coming over light don't press like you would with a cartridge because it sort of it looked after you the cartridge it was sort of um it was too safe if you know what i mean you you could you know half asleep you could have a chat and with these it's a blade at the end of the day so light touch that way your skin will adjust quicker you'll have less cuts and you won't put yourself off because some people have a horrible first shave because they shave like they're using a cartridge and it puts them off it's painful you feel raw and you think oh that's not nice why are they all going on about it <laughs> how fantastic it is when it's rubbish but it's not that you need to adjust your skin needs to adjust but lightly let it do the work it can be difficult sometimes to hold back but it's worth it that's a lesson over um, so that's the razor we used with the as I say used ones persona excellent then we used the big shave Steve Farragher this is the first lot of scuttles I believe there's a second generation out now or something but this is one of the first ones um, with hot water and it lovely and warm the lather and the vintage uh, 150 ever ready 150 with a horsehair knot beautiful did a good job even though it was a hard puck lovely job on that lather you could see give me good protection during the shave and then we rinsed off with water used the Thayer's unscented um, a classic scent which I can still smell now and I might put a bit on before I go down and stick the pork on is the Old Spice aftershave or aftershave lotion and then to put the protection back is the Nivea Originals and that is my Sunday relaxing basic shave and I enjoy that as much as any expensive product that's as good that's as good and it'll give you as good a shave as any expensive razor it's how you use it and what's in your mind because if you expect that to be a 300 pound razor you're going to be very disappointed but every time you use something I will let you go in a minute clear your mind just use what you're using and enjoy it it's only a, can, it can only do so, so much but it'll do a good job if you use it right for what it's meant to do yeah very sorry <laughs> very sorry about the uh, the um, chatting talking rubbish like that but uh, yeah that's how it is thank you mrs. H beautiful flowers and thank you good people for all your support yet again and it was lovely to see um, uh, seeing the notification of uh, Paul's Wetheads has reached 200 members so welcome and I'll try and go on to that as much as I can as well um, I do pop in uh, but yeah thank you so much for all your support on every media level and especially on here because this is where it all started um, it's much appreciated so have a fantastic weekend what's left of it have a great start to next week have some even better shaves and uh, stay happy and stay positive. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.